What's up party people, Android Stud here, and today I have the Pocophone F1 running. Guess what? That's right, Oxygen OS. That's right, we all know the OnePlus 6, OnePlus 6, very popular device, and it runs an amazing software on it called Oxygen OS, mainly stock Android with some amazing custom customizable settings on the device so that you can make the best out of your Android device. Now. You can download this and install it on your Pocophone F1. Now, I'll leave links down below on how to install it. I'll be doing a video later on how to install it, but right now I just wanna take a look at Oxygen OS on the Pocophone F1, let you know what kind of features it has, the kind of settings it has, and all that stuff. And now, in order to get this Oxygen OS on your phone, you're going to have to have an unlocked bootloader, and also you're gonna have to run a custom recovery called Twerp. TWRP. Now, a good friend of mine, Munchy, has done a video on how to install that. You could take a look at his video. I'll leave a link down in the description so you could check him out. He shows you how to install it, all the files you got to do. Now, one of the things that you have to do, there's a couple files that you have to download as far as the Pocophone F1 is concerned. You're going to have to download the actual Oxygen OS. You're gonna to have to download the vendor firmware, a vendor fix. Also, if you want face unlock to work, you're going to have to download that also, uh, file to fix that up. Also, there's a couple other files that you're gonna to have to flash in order to get this going. But I kinda of just wanna go through the settings, take a look at it. Um, it seems like it's running pretty, pretty good uh, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, the fingerprint works on the Pocophone F1 with the OnePlus 6 software, not the OnePlus 6T, because remember the OnePlus 6T has the in-display fingerprint reader, and obviously you're not going to be able to put that on here. That would be amazing if you could, huh? <laughs> that would be tremendous, but that's not going to happen. Uh, a couple other things, face unlock works too, but you have to flash a fix for that in order for that to work. So, um, But as far as a lot of the other features, they work pretty, pretty good. Now let's go through the settings here. The first thing I wanna take a look at is the display settings here. Night mode works, obviously, if you want to turn your screen brightness down as you go to sleep, that works. Your reading mode here, that works pretty good. It kinda of turns your OnePlus 6 into like a Nook or like a Nook reader, so it turns down the color of it. That works really, really good, so you have no issues there. Now, screen, calibration does not work so don't even mess with that that doesn't really work it just stays on default so that's about it but good news is the notch works now what I mean by working is if you want to get rid of the notch it's pretty simple you just select it here boom it's gone you no longer have your notch on your phone so if you go into your your apps here like let's say YouTube there's no notch you're good to go so you don't have to worry about anything as far as that concern Let's go back into display and let's bring our notch back. Notch doesn't bring me, uh, bother me that much, so if you want to turn that back on, you can. There it is, your notch is back. Now, as far as uh, apps and display and full screen, you could select those so that you can uh, make sure that you're getting a full screen mode. You select it right there on Facebook, boom, it's done, you're good to go. Now, as far as ambient display, that does not work on the Pocophone F1 with this Oxygen OS, so don't even worry about uh, doing that. Here's the cool thing, and this is where Oxygen OS shines. It has themes, so if I wanna select dark, boom, it sets it up, downloads it, you're gonna see it's gonna change to the dark theme, and it's real groovy because I like the dark, and you can even change the accent colors here. So I'm gonna do it like a red, boom, it's changing the theme there as we as we go. And then you simply pull down your notification. You see, you're red, you're good to go. So you don't have anything to worry about. It's, it's a good little thing to have that dark theme on there. So we're gonna turn this back to the light theme just for the purpose of the video so we can keep it moving. And so that you guys can see the video a little better because sometimes when it's dark, you can see me here in the background. You see me back there? <laughs> But anyway, let's get into it. Uh, the blink light works, so your notification blink light works. Fonts, you can change the font. There's a couple here, Roboto and OnePlus Slate. I'm using the Roboto, I like that one better. Not really a big difference. Uh, display size, if you wanna change your how your, your messages come in. 
then you're good to go. A um, couple other features, let's get into apps and notifications. That's pretty simple. Your sound now. You can't get vibrate on this because there's just no way to set it because there's not like an alert slider because obviously this is not a one plus so you're gonna have to use a third-party app to get silent or you could use do not disturb I don't know if that's a way around it so you guys can check that out um, a couple other uh, things on here as far as sound yeah if you want to do some mods you're gonna have to do third party now button gestures is really cool so if you want to go in here you can select the back and home button and what that does is it sets it up like the like the Pixel 3 navigation, Android Pie navigation which is really really cool and then if you go in here and you want to select navigation you could do the navigation gestures which is the one plus one which I highly recommend so if you're in an app and you wanna you wanna swipe out of it you swipe to the right here and you get out of it if you want to hold up you get your recent apps right there so it's pretty cool it's just a different way of doing navigation so you could try that out I'm gonna put it back on the regular back and recents now quick gestures these pretty much work if you want to do three finger screenshot you could do that you do three fingers and boom you get a screenshot so that's kind of neat um, also if you want to go in here into button and gestures and you want to do quick gestures and you want to do double tap to wake that works so if we turn off the device double tap it opens up and you're good to go so there are some pretty good uh, uh, settings on the OnePlus 6T that on the OnePlus 6 Oxygen OS on here on the Poco phone that you would not get um, on the MIUI so you also get adaptive battery so if you want to check that out you can um, so that's pretty cool also they have uh, let's see what else okay so now you could do fingerprint but you're gonna have to flash a fix for the fingerprint um, they say that you lose your flashlight but I did not so you could set up your fingerprint here but remember you got to flash that fix first and then face unlock you have to flash that fix first also if you want that to get to work so you have those things working as far as security so you just got to make sure you flash those fixes on there now, as far as you can, you also get digital well-being, which is Android Pie uh, feature that they have, which is really, really neat. Um, as far as utilities, you can do parallel apps, app locker, all kinds of stuff, OnePlus Switch. Um, but there's a lot of different features that the OnePlus Oxygen OS offers. Now, when they get this fully running, I think it's gonna be really good. Now, I've been using it for a little bit, overnight uh, haven't been using it long um, now the one thing I'll say it'll come with the OnePlus messaging app uh, it's got the phone dialer for OnePlus also now here's a couple things on the camera they say the camera doesn't work but my camera works but it doesn't have portrait mode on the OnePlus so if you take a picture it's just regular and then if you switch that bad boy around you're gonna see me here on the camera oh no that's Google lens my bad we got to go up here probably Let's see where we uh, switch that up. I'm looking here, there we go, right here on the side. You're gonna see me there, you can take a little picture. But I'll see portrait on this. So what you can do is you can download the Google camera, which I have here. So if you go into Google camera, you get all your features of the Google camera here. Uh, if you go in here, there's the pictures I just took. There's the countertop. Now here's some that I just, I took on the Google camera that look pretty good this is a portrait mode of me shooting on the camera here uh, so you can check that out also I did a portrait shot here of the uh, camera shot here you know on the video so you got it on you have to install the Google camera in order for to you for you to get a fully uh, working camera that works with portrait mode all that good stuff night mode I'll leave a link down to that Google camera so if you do download this and keep it going then you know you can do that the other thing that you can do in display and I believe oh man where's it at battery I believe yeah battery if you want to set up your status bar for uh, battery here you can do it let me see where that would be let's go into here we'll search status bar yeah I can spell status bar is under display 
So if you want to go in here and you want to show your battery percentage here on the top right, boom, you see that? You have 78% now. Also, if you want to do network speeds, if you want to get rid of the time on the top of the status bar, you can. So that, that's another cool little feature uh, that you could do. Obviously, you can go in here into the OnePlus and the launcher. This comes with the OnePlus launcher. So you could set up your wallpaper. You could set up your, your, your um, different icon packs. If you have some, you could change these up because this is basically the OnePlus launcher. And you get that drawer when you swipe to the right, left. Um, so you can get all your, your stuff there on the side. It doesn't have the Google Home, but you have what you need there uh, as far as the OnePlus launcher is concerned. Hey man, that's gonna do it. If you got any questions, leave them down below. I'm gonna be doing a video on how to install this, so hang in there. If you can't wait that long, check out Munchie's video. I'll leave a link down below on how to install this and all the files you need. That's gonna do it, man. Follow me on Twitter at Android Stud, also on Instagram. Join the party people here on Android Stud. Like this video, leave a comment down below. Let me, let me know what you guys think of Oxygen OS on the Pocophone F1. Peace, fam.